It is good to have an end to journey toward, but it is the journey that matters in the end. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pow. On this channel, we explore spirituality, healing, and life on earth as a human being. And I'm incredibly grateful to have you here today joining me in this space. If you spend any amount of time questioning whether or not you are on the right path or the right journey, or if you're filled with doubt and there's a lot of noise within you about what's right or what's wrong, or if you find that the shoulds of this life are swarming your reality and taking over your choices, and you wish to move forward with love, you wish to move forward with devotion and alignment towards your highest potential and your higher self, then this video is for you. It is my most sincere hope that after today's video, you will feel more aligned and more on purpose on your path. Today, I'm going to be sharing five incredibly powerful and transformative journal prompts to help self-evaluate where you're at in your journey and this self-assessment is one that I have done myself and have found incredible results on the other side but also through the experience of itself allowing my inner voice to really show me the answers because the answers already exist within you, my friend. Um, everything that you are looking for is within. Your answers belong to you, your dreams belong to you, and you are more than worthy of receiving them, of cultivating them, of knowing them, and of sharing them. But with that being said, I'm going to share the journal prompts. I want to preface this video, this guidance, with that wherever you are on your journey today, right now, is perfect. You are exactly where you are meant to be, even if you note that where you are right now is not where you want to be. And I just want to say that there is a reason for your being here in this space, there is a reason that you found this video today and simply allowing yourself to say yes to getting clear with your heart, with your intention, is the greatest step forward that you could take. So on this journey, on this reflection, on this self-evaluation, have grace and compassion for yourself because really everything is perfect and everything is unraveling in perfect time and you are exactly where you are meant to be even when there's room for improvement even when there's room for change because you are a multi-dimensional ever-changing being with so much room to expand and contract and learn and grow. I recommend that you do these journal prompts right away in the morning, fresh out of the vortex. The vortex is a term coined by Abraham Hicks, the channeler, and the vortex is known as the space-time reality where our desires exist. And when we go to sleep at night, all resistance ceases, all negation to that of which brings us the utmost amount of joy and passion and love ceases. While in the waking state, there can be a lot of resistance towards what we desire, even if it is what we desire. And so when we go to sleep, we are, we are in this space of total cultivation of our dreams and our utmost truth which is love and so I really 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 encourage you to do this straight away in the morning moments after waking um, perhaps take a walk and 
breathe some fresh air, feel the sunshine on your skin, and be intentional about creating silence and, and quiet before you venture into these questions. Let it be the first thing that you do in the morning if possible. I have my journal prompts listed here for you guys in my notes and I'm going to read them off now one by one. So the first question is, what is my dream life? Describe it in detail, including how it looks, feels, and sounds. Number two, what limiting beliefs do I have that are holding me back from achieving my dream life? How can I reframe these beliefs into positive affirmations? Number three, what are my core values and how can I align my actions with these values to create a more fulfilling life? Number four, what are my strengths and talents and how can I use them to achieve my goals and live my dream life? Number five, what actions can I take today to move closer to my dream life? How can I break down my goals into smaller, actionable steps? With that, I will leave you with this. Trust the process. Trust your journey. Trust your path. Even if it makes no sense at all today, things usually make sense in hindsight. And note how this very moment is a part of the story that you will tell one day. And to really let the pursuit be pleasurable. Let the pursuit of your dreams and your highest vision and your intention be so worthy of being felt and experienced. Because that space, that love, that intention is a means to an end in and of itself if you let it be. I hope that after answering and sitting with these questions you arrive closer to yourself, deeper with yourself and I would love to hear any and all of your answers in the comments down below if you feel like sharing. So please do. And thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all of the love and all of the goodness as you continue to traverse across this beautiful, precious life. Thank you so much for being here. I love you.